Hey there, I have a really fun project to share with you today. We're going to be making regular solids from paper. We're reading this book called String, Straight Edge, and Shadow, and this is a chapter that talks about how these shapes were discovered. And this is back in about 6th century BC, and it was by Pythagoras and his secret brotherhood. So I'm using my Silhouette Cameo program in order to design these shapes, and then I'm running it through the cutter, and it's going to cut these shapes out as well as perforate the lines in between so that I can easily fold it and assemble these shapes. So the first one I'm working on here is the dodecahedron, which is in the shape of a pentagon. And this shape, as a solid, represented the universe as was determined by the Brotherhood of um, Pythagoras' Secret Society back in 600 BC. So I'm showing you here how I've perforated the sides, or the interior, so it's easy to fold it into shape. And this is only half of the shape. And so I'm just going to use some tape, and I'm going to um, tape each of these pieces together. And I'm doing the tape on the inside so that it gives a nice clean look on the outside and also because I thought that I was going to watercolor these on the outside and so I didn't want the tape to be in the way. So I have to fuss with this a little bit in order to get the tape all around on the inside. And then I can just put those two pieces together to form this dodecahedron. And so these shapes were kept a mystery for a long time. And, um, and it's pretty thrilling to put together because not all shapes are going to make perfect three-dimensional solids. So the pentagon is one of them. And then this next one is um, a triangle. This is the tetrahedron. And so the triangle also fits together well in order to make a solid shape. And so this one is basically four triangles together. So it's a triangle-based pyramid. And this, this shape represented fire. And so again, I'm just going to tape um, these shapes on the inside. And I will have templates available on my website at pepperandpine.com so that you can do these on your own at home. You'll just print them out and cut them apart. And I've shown where lines should be perforated or where they should be cut. And I've also added tabs on the sides of these so that you don't have to use tape. You could just glue the shapes together. And this this shape is the octahedron and it represents air and it has eight sides to it and it's also made out of triangles. Um, this next one is one of my favorites and it's also made out of triangles and it's the isosahedron and it represents water and this one had a, has a lot of perforated sides on um, the inside of this shape and actually assembling it wasn't too hard and what's interesting about this shape is that it's basically five equilateral triangles that make up the top of this shape and so from this shape the secret brotherhood was able to accurately make a pentagon and so it's it's if you look at it from the top directly down you can actually see the shape of a pentagon so this next one is the cube, um, and it's also six-sided, so it's a hexahedron. And this shape represents Earth. And so the Secret Brotherhood came up with um, different characteristics for each of these shapes, and since the cube stands firmly on its base, they uh, decide that it represents Earth, since Earth is solid and um, very firm. Okay, so these are all the shapes that we made. The kids had a blast doing this. They really enjoyed it, and, and you can too. So basically what I've done is I took each of these shapes once I cut them out, and I traced them onto some paper, and I added these little tabs on the side so that when you can fold them over and assemble it a lot easier. And then I've also added all of the perforated lines as little dotted lines so that you know where to um, fold the different pieces together. So this solid line is where you cut the shape out. This little tab 
um, you can either cut it out or keep it there. On all of mine, they're cut out because I'm just using tape to assemble it. So you, you have that choice. It's just easier to cut straight lines than it is to cut all these little tabs out. So I'll leave that choice up to you. And then the interior lines, don't cut any of those. Those just mark where you're going to be folding these shapes. Okay guys, if you enjoy this video and you want to see some of our other math projects, you can click the left side of the screen. And if you want to see how we put together our unit study for math, you can click the right side of the screen. And if you are on a mobile device, I'll add the links to these videos in the description below. And as always, you can check out my website at pepperandpine.com. Okay guys, thanks for watching.